Hello everyone, this is Showtime 112. In this video we are going to talk about NATO involvement and its aircraft losses during the war in Bosnia between 1992 and 1995. Bosnia was the third republic to declare independence from former Yugoslavia. However, due to the most complex ethnic structure of them all, the war which followed was the bloodiest one. The Bosnian Muslims and Croats were in favor of independence while Serbs opposed it, which eventually led to an open war. This is the simplest and the most diplomatic possible introduction and we are not going to go any deeper into that. The nation's capital, Sarajevo, soon came under siege by the Serbian side. The siege lasted more than three and a half years. UN responded by sending peacekeeping force and organizing airlift to Sarajevo to supply its population with the most needed items. While this wasn't strictly a NATO operation, most of the assets used for this operation came from NATO members. This included Italy, which contributed its G-222 transport airplanes. Now I have to say that just like usually we had to approximate some assets to make this video. We don't have a G-222 in DCS world, so we're using Hercules instead. The G-222 is an Italian-built transport aircraft, originally designed for a NATO specification, but no other NATO nation operates it. It is smaller than the Hercules, and it only has two engines, but it is used for the same purpose. On 3rd September 1992, a G-222 of the Italian Air Force took off from Split, Croatia, and headed for Sarajevo. It had a four-person crew while four more passengers were on board. It carried a load of blankets. When the aircraft was about eight minutes away from its destination, it was hit by a missile and it crashed. The incident was first reported by another transport plane following the Italian G-222, which observed it going down trailing smoke. American helicopters from Iwo Jima escorted by Hornets were the first ones to find the wreck, but when they tried to land they came under fire by small arms, and according to some sources another missile.
culprit was never determined. To this day, it remains unclear which side launched the missile. On some websites you will be able to find that Stinger missile was used, but an SA-7 is a lot more probable option. There were no survivors. Second NATO aircraft shot down over Bosnia was the Royal Navy Sea Harrier. In April 1994, HMS Ark Royal was operating in the Adriatic Sea as a part of Operation Deny Flight. This operation's main objective was to prevent the warring side from using their airplanes and helicopters. USA, however, was an advocate of a more active role of NATO aircraft such as providing close air support for UN troops on the ground. In April 1994, Armed forces of the Serbian entity in Bosnia launched an attack against the UN safe area of Gorazde. Gorazde is a town in eastern Bosnia, which at the time was a Muslim enclave surrounded by Serbian forces. American F 16s and F 18s attacked Serbian positions, and as a result, Serbian military commander Radko Mladic threatened to start shooting down NATO aircraft. On 15 April 1994, a French super attendard was damaged by ground fire. On 16 April, HMS Ark Royal launched two Sea Harriers from 801 Squadron to patrol the Bosnian airspace. The flight leader was Nick Richardson, and we are currently flying with him. Two Harriers were orbiting over Sarajevo at 10,000 feet when they were contacted by AWACS. 6723, this is Magic from Chariot. Proceed to Italy and contact Fortune 05 on CAD 3. Italy was the code word for Gorazde, located southeast of Sarajevo. The overcast base was at about 12,000 feet and this meant that Harriers would have to stay below this altitude, which was just outside a range of shorter launch systems. However, Bosnia is full of mountains and hills, which can reduce the distance if a shooter is placed on the top of one. NATO intelligence had a good info on locations of Serbian systems such as SA-2 and SA-6. Man paths, however, were impossible to account for and this word Richardson. He checked for codes and frequencies and headed towards Gorazde. Fortune 05, this is Vixen 23. Vixen 23, this is Fortune 05. We're loud and clear. Richardson then asked for verification codes, to which the team responded rather nervously, but eventually gave the proper code. They then indicated that there were two tanks on the ridgeline above the town, and that they wanted the Harriers to take them out. We know there's a tank or two above the ridgeline to the north of Gorazda. That's what we're gonna take out, alright.
In the first two passes, Richardson and his wingman failed to spot Serbian tanks. He did notice smoking explosions in the town. but on the third pass he finally spotted two T-52s. FAC team confirmed the target and Richardson fused bombs. Tally, two T-55. That's your target. But then he heard his wingman yell flares over the radio. He hit the countermeasures button and saw a missile pass between two Harriers. There was no time for anything else. The controller on the ground was now urging the Harriers to attack the tanks with a panic tone in his voice. Richardson rolled in into a dive, aimed for a tank and tried to get radar range. Nothing happened. He pulled a 5G climb and tried again. Just like the previous time, he didn't get the radar range and couldn't release his bombs. Some sources say that he deliberately made two passes without dropping as some kind of a rules of engagement requirement, but in his book called No Escape Zone, Richardson clearly confirms that he was given the clearance to attack on his first try, but didn't do it because of technical problems.
His wingman then tried, but he couldn't get radar range either. Richardson decided to give it one more try. No success. However, as he was pulling up, he was hit by a missile. Richardson ejected, landed on the territory controlled by the Muslims and was eventually evacuated back to his ship. Unlike the first case, this time it was clear that Bosnian Serbs were responsible for the shootdown. This was part one of the video. In the second part we will discuss two more cases in which NATO aircraft were down in the skies of Bosnia during the conflict. Most of you probably noticed that the aircraft used here was not the C Harrier but AV-8B Harrier II. This is a later model built by McDonnell Douglas but it is the only one available and it's still a Harrier. If you liked the video be sure to press the like button, support the channel on Patreon if you're able to and keep watching Showtime 112.